Hi, my name is Erin, and this is my social worker profile. Um, I chose to research John B. Turner, and as you can tell, he was a very happy man, very interested in how other people felt about everything and wanted equality for everyone and wanted to make people whose lives weren't so great a little bit better. Who was John B. Turner? Um, John Brister Turner was born February 28, 1922, to Virginia Brown Turner and Brister William Turner in Fort Valley, Virginia, or Georgia. <laughs> when he was very young, his parents moved to Atlanta, Georgia, and then to A&M College in Normal, Alabama. At the age of nine, Turner's father died of injuries from World War I. The family returned to Atlanta, where his mother, her sister, and their mother raised the children. He then attended Atlanta University's Laboratory High School, where he was elected into the National Honor Society. He then received his college degree from Morehouse College, in which both his father and grandfather had graduated. While he was there, he majored in math. He sang in the Glee Club and was a member of the Kappa Alpha Psi. He played running guard in football and was the all-Southern football team. His college education was interrupted the last year by World War II. And here's a timeline of what all he did. Um, in 1948, he was the program secretary at Butler Street YMCA in Atlanta. And then he was a Tuskegee Airman first lieutenant. In 1950, he became an instructor at Atlanta University. In 1952, he was an area worker for the Welfare Federation of Cleveland, Ohio and then he began working on his doctorate. From 1957 to 1967, for 10 years, he was a professor at Case Western School of Applied Sciences. In 1959, he was the director of Field Services, the Welfare Federation. In 1968 to 1973, he served as associate dean at Case Western. In 1968 to 1973, he served as an associate of the U.S. State Department in Zambia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda. 1966 to 1971, he was a consultant to the National Urban League. Nineteen seventy two to nineteen seventy five, he served as a consultant in an international research program in Cairo. Nineteen seventy seven, he was a visiting professor and consultant at the University of Minya in Egypt. He was the editor-in-chief of the Encyclopedia of Social Work. In 1978, he was the president of the National Conference of Social Work. In 1981 to 1992, he was the dean of social work at UNC. And even after he retired, he um, was still very involved in the school. Um, there are some more accomplishments. He was very important to social work in many ways. He was the first black aviation cadet, one of the first black aviation cadets and he was also the first African-American dean of the University of North Carolina, and that was a big accomplishment. In addition to all these accomplishments, um, he spent several summers as a visiting lecturer at the University of Toronto, McGill University in Montreal, as a Fulbright Scholar in Cairo, Egypt. He established the Jordan Institute for Families, a branch that works to strengthen families and engage communities. Um, and then I found some more little interesting things. Um, when he drove his family to church on Sunday mornings, he passed through all the worst neighborhoods instead of going where everybody else did so that he could show his family how it was for everyone else. And then here's a quote from his daughter. He took it upon himself to really make sure that we knew the plight of others. His passion for others impacted nearly every aspect of his life. After enlisting in the military and doing social work for years, he continued to welcome people of every culture into his home, travel in order to help him understand people and instill humanistic principles in his family. He's largely credited for mapping out the graduate program's road to prominence, including the construction of a $10 million building in Chapel Hill. Um, and that site is still named after him. Um, and was the first academic building on campus to be named after an African-American. Before the war, he had planned to be an engineer. During the war, he observed social problems which plagued African-American communities and caused him to want to do something to help change these conditions. 
Um, he was advised to enter the field of social work, and his educational direction moved from a focus on things to a focus on helping people, particularly his own African American people, to solve the problems of health, jobs, housing, and education. And there are my sources.